Okay, there's the mongoose excursion. <laughs> I just put on the brake on the rear. This bike is definitely upgradable. Some of the things I've added have been new tires. That's a bell, hardly worn after hard use. And here's the Goodyear tire and the bicycle rack, luggage rack. I got for $15 along with tools and cup holder and bicycle tire tubes, patches. The new seat. And my turn signal indicator, my flying eight grip bars, end bars, all to make this a more comfortable ride. My replacement pedals have been pretty good. I like them, but the paint's wearing off on them. They're exactly the same as the Mongoose branded extra ones at Walmart. Now this is a new wheel. It's a MX. I think it's an MX. Let's see what is it. Oh, I can't tell. Let's see here. I believe it was a. Yeah, it's an XM 280 disc ready. And I bought a eight-speed Shimano cassette to go on it. And I, I had some bicycle parts in my toolbox. And there's a derailleur. I've got a Shimano. Oops. I can do this one handed. Bought the Shimano XT set derailleur to go in there. She's a little dirty right now, and the chain's rusting because of the snow and ice. And then there's the Shimano derailleur or gear set. I still need to replace the front. Like I said, she's a little dirty. I went down a trail. She handled pretty good. It was a lot stiffer with these Goodyear's tires on. I liked them. There, I had some concerns about the sidewalls being so soft, but it is definitely doing a lot better. I can't wait to get these rim brakes off because they're chewing up the paint on there. I replaced the, the brakes originally came with with Shimano equipped brakes. Now on the back, the front is the disc. And I still have my phone holder right there. This thing is perfect. It doesn't go anywhere. Holds everything real nice and tight. And my turn signal. Uh, there's not much else to say about the bike. But this bike, the excursions are definitely upgradable. Uh, Suntour springs are available through Google. And we hopefully get the, get the new springs in there. And get these upgraded so it'll stop bottoming out because the springs are too soft in there right now I don't see any adjustments on the bottom on how to do that I think they're just slid in there and the top tube or uh, insert tube just sits on top of the spring so it sounds like it's bottoming out I think the spring is just compressing all the way and I've got Royo's brake systems to go on it. I think that's believe that's the name of it. And we'll get that on there as soon as we can. I'm still waiting for the uh it doesn't come with a brake caliper mount so we gotta put a adapter mount on. So I'm still waiting for that for Amazon. Okay there she is. She's doing good and those Goodyear tires are good. They did a lot of research and pulled a lot of research from their tire car division and they are making some excellent tires. It's very grippy in the sand, the mud, <clears throat> on the street. I haven't had any problem. They're long wearing. This is like, what, two weeks of wear on here and all it's done is knocked off these little new pore beads. Uh, little strings you always get on a tire. It's only knocking them off. But it hasn't really worn down at all. There hasn't been any, I don't see any wear compared to the tires it came with. The only problem with this is once I get the disc brakes on, I won't have to worry about compliance with the, the rim brake cable there. 
it's really close. But once the disc brakes are on and completed, it'll be good. And this Yangtze, Yangtze, I think it's called the Yangtze, seat is really comfortable. I have no problem with it. And even in the cold, it doesn't freeze up and get stiffer. So, and my traffic mirror has been real good. And the only thing I don't like about the traffic mirror from Walmart is the battery came dead in it and it will not turn on. I've turned it apart three times, tried fixing it, it will not turn on. So, alright, there you go. That's my review of the Mongoose excursion after two months of wear and tear on it. But if you get an excursion, you can upgrade it and first thing you need to do is get rid of those tires and brakes those are a death trap they're very dangerous unless you're riding in dirt there's dirt only tires and will not stay on the gravel I slipped and fell and damaged a lot of parts that's why I changed the railer to the XT which is a way better derailer shift smoother Anyways, till next time.